For the balloon activity, what you'll need is a roll of tape. I've done this with masking tape, the clear tape that you'd wrap presents with. I've done this with electrical tape. I've done this with painter's tape, and painter's tape is just what I have laying around today. Um, really, any tape is going to work. The thing that you might want to consider is the weight of the tape. The heavier the tape, the less tape you put on the balloon, uh, or, or more tape if you want it to fall really fast. Pack of balloons. Uh, I prefer the, just for the catching, I got the nine inch balloons from the dollar store. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes. I would stay away from like those really small water balloon size. Um, but the 12 inch balloons get pretty big. And when we're working on catching, sometimes if the object is too big, uh, it's kind of hard to catch because we have to use so much of our body to catch it. So a nine inch balloon is really good. A pack of 25 uh, balloons is a dollar. So uh, relatively inexpensive and you get all sorts of colors. So it's pretty good. You blow the balloon up <clears throat> to whatever size you want. The bigger the, that you blow it up, the slower the fall rate. The smaller it is, the faster the, the fall rate. And uh, as you can see here, I taped this balloon. Now with painter's tape, I used one wrap around it horizontally, one around it vertically to make this pattern. And the reason I did it twice and all the way around the balloon is because painter's tape overall is quite light. So I wanted uh, the balloon to fall pretty fast. If this is too fast, and it may be uh, one strip, you know, a half a strip just on the bottom, wherever you feel comfortable uh, for that fall rate. So now I have a balloon that's going to be suitable for a lot of different activities and games. Obviously the catching, tossing will work. You can play a hitting game. And obviously these are things that we'd work into. All right, so as you can see, balloon with no tape, balloon with tape, the fall rate is much different for both of these balloons. Another thing I like to do is always start by uh, tossing it directly to the center of the person you're tossing the balloon to with the directions that you want. Do you want them to catch? Do you want them to hit it back to you? Do you want them to throw it back to you afterwards? Depending on obviously the ability level, uh, those directions are going to continue to change. As your student gets better at the activity, we will continue to make that activity more and more difficult. The next progression would be tossing side to side. If you toss the balloon to their right or their left, they are now having to reach across their body to catch the balloon. The important part is we are trying to get this balloon up towards their chest level as it gets to them. So even if you're tossing to the side, a balloon that's down low into the side is going to take a lot more movement to get to. So we want to try to keep that balloon towards the center of the body. Now, if this is my student, I would line up straight in front of them. Right now, I'm off to the side so that you can see where I'm going to be aiming. I'll be tossing to the center of the chair. The more arc we get on the ball, so the higher it goes, can often lead to a harder adjustment for that student to catch the ball. And maybe when they are ready, we start adding height. At first, we want a pretty straight line shot at that student. Remember, we want it to be about chest level where it's easiest to catch. If it's hard to get to the balloon that far, obviously you would need to move forward. A non-weighted balloon, I would need to come up a little bit further. Once you've progressed past that, tossing it to either side so that they have to reach and catch. Adding a laundry basket to the side to add further instructions. For example, let's pretend I had a laundry basket on the floor right here. Once that student catches, you could say, place the red balloon in the basket place the yellow balloon in the basket, always trying to reinforce the color, the object, and the direction of what to do to continue to build on activities we can do later. 